Hello, this is the 1st of May 2011, and if you've been towards the National Debt Clock's webpage recently, you may or you may not have found this little section that says U.S. Public Debt, subject to limit, with, of course, the regular national debt. And it says it equals the national debt minus a bunch of different things, and I think what's kind of interesting is if you look at the national debt, 14.341, which is a little over the debt ceiling. So maybe this is why the number is in. It just makes the most logical sense to me. Anyway, what I did on April the 30th at 3.10 a.m. Greenwich time was I calculated how long it took for the national debt subject to limit increase by a million. And it was 57 seconds time stamped, record it. Then I did it just a, a few moments ago. And on April the 1st at 2013 p.m. GMT, 46 seconds. And the level was to 14.263. The calculation I did on the, uh, the la this one in here was I took the debt ceiling, or I took the national... Uh, or the level at that time, at 3.10 in the morning, which was 14.259, and then the debt ceiling, 14.294. You can see the national debt's already over it, which is why we have uh, most likely this the uh, subject to limit. So now, the debt ceiling minus that level at 3.10 in the morning worked out to 34,114. So I did some math. And I figured at 57 seconds per period, then it would take 1,944,498 seconds. I know there's 86,400 seconds a day because there's 60 hours, there's 60 minutes in each hour, and there's, excuse me, 24 hours, 60 minutes in each hour, and 60 seconds in each minute. So the calculation came out to 22 and a half days, which means about three weeks from now is when this would hit the debt ceiling. So I found that to be very, very interesting. Now what I did is I took the time difference from these two in here, April 30th, 2011, and April 1st, 2011. Well, there's a full day. And then on top of the other day, there's 17 hours and 3 minutes. So with the 24 hours and 17, I can take 41 hours, multiply 60 minutes, multiply 60 seconds, and then 3 minutes is 180. Worked out to a total of almost 150,000 seconds that went by during the two times. Now, at 57 seconds per turn which would be the number in here, taking the amount of seconds divided by 57, works out to 2,593. That's how many times it should roll over a million, or go up 2.593 billion, if it stays at the 57 second duration. Now we obviously have seen in here that the one I did recently took 46 seconds. So things are changing, it's, it's not going up at the exact same percentage rate every single moment, basically. So now, the total actually was 14.263.792, and it should have been around 14.262.479, so it was a little bit different. Now, the actual increase from this number, subtract this number, works out to 3.8. 9 million. And at 26,431 uh, uh, seconds, I think, what's that? At, at 26,431 dollars a second, this goes up, which means it translates to 37 seconds a million. So I don't know. Might want to watch out for this. So I don't know how long it's going to take to uh, hit the debt ceiling, but it's close and they'll probably bring it up higher. I don't know.